Hello everyone, I'm Elo Bandit. And my name is Sacred Sky. And today we are going to be using a special OU team we used in part one of this video. So for those of you who don't know, this is the second part of our collab video. Check out the first part on Elo Bandit's channel, linked in the description below. It was really fun, and so now we're gonna continue using that same team. Yes, I'm really excited to get some wins with Steel Roller and Bandit Focus Punch Azumarill. It's gonna be fun. And then for the second part of this video, we are going to randomize a special Pokemon. We're gonna make a gimmicky 1v1 team out of that. And then we're gonna and... ladder 1v1, the best metagame yep. of all time. So our first opponent here has some pretty scary picks. Darmanitan, Dragapult right. is a pretty common lead here. I really like starting Azumarill. I know that we did that a whole bunch in part one. Um, we did it every battle. <laughs> but it does feel like a solid option here as well. Absolutely. Mm, Don't like the Weezing though. Might have that Sludge Wave which could KO us. I do want to say Focus Punch per, for um, Porygon, Z Porygon 2 or Milotic, I feel like that could be really good later on, so... Oh! Steel Roller! We do have a Steel Roller, that? yes, let's do it. Let's That's just Steel perfect. Roller this Weezing. Clear Smog. Clear Smog. Oh, because he was like, he's gonna Belly Drum or something. Hey, rest in peace, Pa Smoke. <sighs> first turn! First match, first turn, we get our Banded Steel Roller off. Finally, we counterpicked that Weezing. Wow. <laughs> Perfect. And now the Dragapult. Yeah, unfortunately we are a choice bandit, so we have to go off into Weezing here. We can't play rough. Right. Weezing or Persian could have worked there. Yeah, catch a YouTube or whatever. Oh. Okay. Thunderbolt. Wow, that's a lot of damage. I think that's choice specs. That's definitely specs, yeah. We could go out into a grass type. We have AV, Delmice, and Rillaboom. Yeah, Delmice. Let's do that. Okay. Right. There we go. Very nice. Now, Poltergeist is pretty free here, or we could Steel, steel roller, roller again on Porygon 2. Um, let's see. I would say Polter... No, because he's locked into Thunderbolt because of specs, and so I'd say he definitely switches into Porygon 2. So why don't we go for a Steel Roller? Steel Roller it is. Hey, we got it immediately. We're so good. 54. Not bad. It's, it's not bad considering Evie like Porygon 2. Mm, now who should we go here? He probably presses recover. We can't use we have Steel toxic, Roller. Toxic Venusaur. Yeah, that's smart. Shadow Paul. Why what? Huh. Offensive Pori 2? <laughs> is that what this is? Let's press bind. Oh, you don't want to toxic it first? Okay. No, I just want to keep it in. Oh shoot. That was not a good play by me. Uh, that's fine. We can still take it out. Uh, it's got Sign Shadow Ball. We could go Persian and click Nasty. But... I don't. Do you think he's gonna go Shadow Ball again against Persian? Okay, wait. No, he wouldn't. But if we sent out Delmice first and then swapped it for Persian, then he would. Oh, I like that. I really like that. Okay. Yeah, let's go Persian. Double for the rattled. No, he just recovers. That's okay, that's okay. We can nasty plot, and we're in a yep. pretty good position here. Wow. Oh my god! I wasn't expecting that. That's so much damage, what? What if... Mm, I'm saying what if we got him to the point where he would click recover, and then we could focus punch him, but I don't think... I think he would just press, um, try attack against Azumarill. Yeah. Why don't we... This is tough. Why this don't we go tough. Rillaboom? Because we yep. have special defense, like, fully invested. Yeah. We can... Drum beat it. Yep. Only 30. 30%. Wow, but he's, he is going to be forced to recover. He's not going to two-shot us. So, should we go for a uh, substitute here? Or a bulk up. Um... Either could work, yeah. Yeah, I'll I, save it. I'd bulk. Okay. There's the recover. There's no point in stalling out his moves. He has plenty. So I'll just drum beating again. Yeah. 48, not bad. Okay. Oh he my gets god, the he burned us? <gasps> he burned us. 
That's not allowed. Now what do we do to this? <laughs> now <laughs> we cry to ourselves. Don't mind. Um, He's gonna cry back. Yeah, I guess so. No way. Ooh, ooh that's no good. Mmm, Steel Roller, Grassy Glide. Porygon, too, walls this team. It really wow. does, yeah. Well, we could have got the Toxic off. We got a crit. And now, now we can beat it, because it's slow. Can we, though? Uh, Anchor Shot. Yeah, okay, I guess we can. Joe. And we okay, defeat cool. the Porygon, Thanks. too. All we needed was the one crit. Perfect. So, could we still win this? Yeah. Aqua Jet takes care of our Manitan. As long which... as we keep an answer for uh, Lurantis, we're fine. Um, I have an idea here. Maybe we could let um, Delmice die, and then we would obviously bring in Azumarill. He would probably switch to Milotic, and then we could get a Focus Punch off. I was thinking the same thing, but sack Rillaboom instead of Delmice because it's burnt. Hmm. Yeah, that's smart. U turn. If he flare blitz, we probably could have won the game with Azumarill. I think we can still possibly do it. Yeah, we can just go wheezing here on Lorantis. And then bring out Azumarill like, once it's gone. Nothing likes a sludge wave, does it? No. And if he goes uh, Dragapult, we have Azumarill. Well, we kind of have Azumarill, isn't it? Specs, Thunderbolt? That's yeah. Yeah. Superpower? That That's not the <laughs> answer. Isn't that four times resisted? We're fairy and poison, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I guess it's just for the attack boost, but like he's slower, so yeah. I don't know about that one. There's Dragapult. What was our plan for this? We hmm. Shadow Ball hurts us a lot. I don't think Weezing is useful anymore. We basically Every... have to pick a sack, yeah. I'd say Weezing. That's fine. Okay, I think Azumarill can- Delmice definitely cannot live that. We'll go Azumarill. And... I, I think he's staying. I know you want to make the Focus Punch play. Yeah, I really want to do it. <laughs> I think play rough, we have to. Okay, cool. Alt. God, Azum- what is this? Darmanitan, Milotic. God, we have to keep Azumar alive for the Darmanitan, so should yeah, we switch we, we into have to, We have to switch Delmas, it's our only option here. Loyal, my Loyaling! Life. No! What do we do? Should we just make the crit play? I think so. Poltergeist yeah. or Grassy? I think Poltergeist. Yeah. Hypnosis called you. Wow. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's tilting. Boost accuracy and hit use hypnosis, damn. Oh, we couldn't have even focus punched. Now Ooh, we go. Wake up, wake up! <gasps> Took us some mad pins. Huh? No. Oh, it's close. And it's scarf too. Oh, this is so... Hold on, hold on. I we might I... still have a chance. Um, think about it. He Flare Blitz is here, and he kills himself. And then Azumarill can probably double play rough. Or something. We'll try it. We'll just click Poltergeist again. Right. Yeah. Hopefully okay. he does to recoil. Yes, he does. Okay. Can Azumarill do this? Let's find out. I really want to click Focus Punch. Focus Punch on the coil. <laughs> just for science. Just for science. I feel like he's just gonna, like, Scald and kill us. But, or, no, he probably doesn't even have Scald. He's saying GG. We could just crit him with Play Rough. What do you think? That, that yeah, means he's gonna kill us, so. Oh. Darn. Hey, 11%. How do you get the 12, man? Yeah, that, was, that was, was a pretty good match, though. We yeah, almost brought it back. All right, let's get another one. Um, I'd like to find a win here. Yep. Yeah, I definitely want Persian uh, to work this time. For those of you who don't know, we mentioned it in the first part, but this is Weedle Twinedle's uh, Persian idea with rattled weakness policy. 
you want to get hit by a U-turn and then you're going to activate the weakness policy, you're going to activate the rattled, which boosts your speed. It's a really cool set. It's a lot of fun to use too. Right. Crocodile usually leads, I would guess. I think normally yes, but I, I almost think that Volcarona is coming out first. How about Azumarill in that case? Because oh, even if you yeah. want to switch to Marathorn, that's a focus punch. I'm fine with that. Oh my. Perfect. Okay, okay, okay. Here's our focus punch opportunity. Yeah, let's do it. I've been waiting. Okay, it works. Stealth it works. Rock. Okay, yeah. it still works, yeah. I really wanted that to kill. Two thirds of Kamo. He probably doesn't expect us to do it again. Because Azumarill does really do well against his whole team, except Magirna. Yeah, and except his only switch is like, slow bro. Iron defense. Oh my, we... wait, we can still- New killer. Yeah, easy. <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. That's, that's so good. He might have thought we awkward yet. Honestly, oh yeah. Have... <laughs> Perfect, we just got a double focus punch kill. That's two punch in a row kill. That's great. We definitely want to save it for Volcarona though, because look at the rest of our team yeah, versus we Volcarona. Have... <laughs> Need that awkward drop. Is there any move that we How can do we try beat to catch Magirna? The Persian? Oh, uh, Magirna, we can beat with uh, Delmise, maybe. Delmise. Rillaboom. I think. A mix of Delmise and Weezing, because Weezing can overheat, Magirna will kill Weezing, then we can use Steel Roller with Delmise. Yeah, that works. Fair wait, 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 wait. Are we going to just click this a third time? Or is he gyroballing? I don't know. I really want to click it a third time, but we lose if we don't have Aqua Jet. Uh, we have overheat mm. Weezing in the back. Yeah, let's go to Weezing. If, if he does something like Thunder Wave, I'm going to be so upset. Knock off. Okay. okay, okay. Wouldn't have worked. That makes me feel better. He might want to stay in. Most people don't think about overheat Weezing. I think we kind of have to click it, though. Because yeah. if we click something else and he stays in, then what are we switching to? You're right. Um, okay, he stays in. He almost loses the Ferrothorn. Gets Leech. his Leech up. Huh. He might switch here. We could just overheat again. He's switching or he's protecting. Um... I would say... Dalmai's Poltergeist can probably beat it. He's definitely specially defensive, given the fact he just lived that. Yeah. He did knock off our specs, but yeah. Oh, right. Uh, would um... you like to overheat? on no protect or Rillaboom on protect? Uh, yeah, Rillaboom, because then he can't even leech see this. Yeah. Volk Ooh, Ro he read us like a book. Wow, <laughs> at least we still have a zoom reel. Uh, he might just, he probably just quiver dances. Um, we don't want to risk it and go into a zoom reel and get it killed though. The alternative is we pick something to get rid of. And we kind of want to keep Venusaur this time around. Yeah, so should we sack the Rillaboom that's in right now? Maybe. Um, we have Stomping Tantrum to potentially break a Focus Sash if it's running that. Probably uh, summary. Drum Beating would be a little... Well, maybe not, because we've got Grassy Train up, we don't want to back full. So yeah, Stomping Tantrum, let's do it. Quiver exactly. And I look at this monkey. <laughs> well, stomping again. Since he's spamming Quiver Dance, he's gonna want to stay in with all those stats, and Azumarill can come in for an easy kill. Yeah, he he probably just realized that now. Okay, fiery dance. I would say we try to read something and do a focus punch, but Volcarona wins otherwise. Yeah. Stupid helmet, slow bro. We can go Toxic. Venusaur. Toxic Venusaur, yeah. 
Um, why don't oh. we bind first? Crocodile. That's oh. not a switch. And he he doesn't have anything like teleport or anything to switch out, so we can leech seed to start earthquake. That won't do enough. Worst case scenario, finally, he's got taunt, but like yeah. We have Giga Drain for that, anyways. Which I'm gonna click now. Perfect. Now I, oh, ho, ho. there you go. Bort. The trapping Venusaur pulls through. We're, we're proud of Venusaur for beating a crocodile. We have low standards for this. <laughs> we're so proud of being a ground type, yeah. <laughs> well, Corona, luckily we still have Zoom World safe for that. Um, if he goes full Corona here, scary. I want to go hard into a Zoom World. I feel like he's quiver dancing 100,000%. Alright. Nice. Um, since he did the slow bro so obviously last time. Focus punch. Focus punch. Against the slow bro. Okay. Well, no, fine. We'll go. Uh, we could. I was gonna say the slow bro switch is so obvious he might just stay in. We could jet here, yeah, and then if that doesn't work, we have perfect. Okay. No, he can afford to make these obvious switches because of Rocky Helmet plus the rocks. Yeah. Okay. We have to keep this Volcarona in check. This is getting scary. We could go Persian, or we could go Venusaur. But I feel like the more times we bring in Venusaur, the more times he's gonna bring in Volcarona. You know, I'm gonna press Weezing. It's not bad. I think we go for the explosion here. I like it. I actually really like that idea. We're gonna miss the explosion. Hope he stays in, because this slow Boom. bro is in. <laughs> yeah, I got you. This guy. 70%, okay, finally... not bad. Delmice is okay. But yeah, I like, I like the Persian idea. McGearna really does beat this person though. What if we went Venusaur? I was on... just thinking that, yeah. I, I like that double. Alright, let's pray he goes McGearna here. Wants to keep Slowbro alive for his zoom reel. Wow. Wow. This... <laughs> he's Slowbro. just he's on another level. Yeah, what can we say? Should we just Giga Drain? He's I gonna would, switch this. Stuff. I would leech this. Wild. Um, yeah, okay, I'll leech. On the Volcarona, not bad. Uh, we can't toxic it because of Misty Terrain. We can bind it for some extra chip, but he does just decide to Fiery Dance. Okay, so this is where we kind of lose the game because Azumarill wants yeah. to come out, but this is the last time we bring Azumarill in. Now watch this, watch this. Okay, okay, I see where you're going with this. Doesn't want to waste his time with Delma's fine <laughs> Venusaur. <laughs> Poor guy wanted a real opponent, and he's stuck with us. 15 seconds left. He's really gonna time us out because we brought a Delmise in on his Volcarona. He doesn't know, dude. Man. He doesn't know. No, that's it. Yeah, he just and, quit on it. And he, he's gone. With that triumphant win, why don't we switch over to the 1v1 part of this video. So on your screen, Bandit, why don't you open up the randomizer, any type of Pokemon randomizer, just have it randomize one Pokemon for us and we're gonna add it to the 1v1 team we started. All these randomizers suck. Okay, fine, I found a good one, I found a good one. Uh, Gigantamax Grimmsnarl. <laughs> Are you serious? Okay, okay, hey, one more, one more. Rotom Frost. That's a good one. All right, so yeah, let's build this Rotom together. We already built the first two Steelix with the tracked magnetized Steelix. Ball. It's so good. Speed swap Porygon Z with Hyper Beam Nasty Plot Uproar. Uh, we wanted to do a bit of team building for you guys to see, um, but we know that can take a lot of time. So we built the first two Mons, and so yeah, now we're gonna use this Rotom Frost. Yes. I wish this got freeze dry. That would be extremely convenient. It does get Poltergeist, but yeah, 65 attack, no. Hmm. Or we reversal. Could, we could do uh, Key Berry. Get plus one defense and um, mm. pain right. split. Key Berry, Pain Split, Will O Wisp, Blizzard, and Thunderbolt. Does it get Zap Cannon? Oh, it doesn't. Man. Unfortunately, no. So let's do, uh, I guess, drop Electro Web. Yeah. So Will O Wisp, Blizzard, Pain Split, and. Should we do Thunder or Thunderbolt? I like Thunderbolt better. All right. It does more damage in the long run. Okay. Something uh, like the max e HP, almost max defense. We don't really need speed, I don't 
think. We yeah, because Rotom just has on. such low base HP. It's like you have to max mm -hmm. it out or you're just gonna die in one. Yeah, so we're doing max HP, max special attack maybe? I wanna say like 68 modest. Let's, let's try that. Yeah, and then the rest into defense because we actually wanna beat Zero Aura. Right, that's smart. All right. So I guess we do mod. have we have we have Steelix already. We, it's not that pressing that we defeat Zerora, but it's yeah. Still but nice. maybe this will, maybe this will beat something like Galar Darm. I'm pretty sure that's still in one v one, right? Yeah. Once again, we do have Gyro Ball Steelix. Um, I feel like this is yeah. kind of filling the same rule, but it's a special attacker, so we'll roll with it. Let's validate that for one v one, and let's hop into a battle. All wow. right, versus a single slow bro. Menacing. We have Nasty Plot Porygon Z to win. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna oh. find another one because this is already over. Okay. Right. Should we just Nasty start up? Okay, oh. same thing, same thing. Just. <laughs> Singular. Oh, oh hold on. Wait, wait. Do you want to use uh, Steelix on this guy? Yeah, for sure. Attract Steelix? Perfect. It is a male. Um, we could kill it with an earthquake after a weakness policy boost, but I want to press. We gotta track. attract. That's the only real option here. It's a funny move. We gotta do it. Agility. Okay, so it's calm mind slow, bro. I'm gonna nasty pot one more time over here. Okay. And God, using dive. Killer. <gasps> Wait a minute. Earthquake didn't hit it while it used dive. Yes. I it, it works a little differently than dig, I guess. Oh, okay. I thought it worked the same. But dive kind of sucks for him because there's twice as many chances that he'll get attracted. Yeah, yeah just he, like that. You got immobilized underground. Quick claw, crab hammer, weakness <laughs> policy. <laughs> nice, nice, Perfect. nice. How's that slow bro battle going? Oh, uh, one got or two. Him. Yeah, I just nasty plot hyper beam. Two ones off the bat. Easy peasy. So what we use, Steelix, Porygon Z, now we gotta get Rotom in in one of these battles. Oh, this looks like Rotom's match, It'd too. Be Boom. Uh, Dragapult is probably scared of Steelix, and it may be a little scared of Rotom, so... We gotta play Rotom, Rotom here. here. Yeah. And we uh, can easily play around this Wobbuffet, because it's got nothing uh, to deal with Will-O-Wisp. Yeah. Pain's blood, yeah. So should we Wisp the bat? Yes. Because we want to get that timer ticking down. If it has leftovers, it becomes a little bit more difficult, but... It doesn't. doesn't. He'll probably spam Mirror Coat until he dies, yeah. So let's press Pain Split here. He, he has so much more HP than us that it will do some damage from the start. Yep. And then we can actually just keep clicking Will-O-Wisp, I think. And he mm. will probably forfeit in the next couple of turns. Yeah. Maybe we could test how much. Yeah, okay, perfect. Man, you read that guy. You read the forfeit. Wobbuffet players are... There's not a whole lot of variation going on. <laughs> They're all the same, all the Wobbuffet players, yeah. So now we've got to win with every single member on the team in the first first three battles. Wow. New record. New record! I love 1v1 so much. It's my favorite mode. Is there um, Knight. Yeah, Corviknight's pretty scary here because we don't um, we don't have a great steel answer. It is a male Corviknight. We could attract. But then we only have Gyroball to hit it, so maybe not. Right. Um, Rotom. I think Rotom. Beats Rotom is the probably fine. Yeah, we can and do that. It's good drill, except for except for Mold Breaker. It's not Mold Breaker though. Huh. Wow. So we okay. should roll this off the start. You might have forgot the ability. Yeah, because Sand Rush, Sand Force, those have no effect. Pone Claws. They must okay. be bad. He still probably has Iron Head, but I feel like we we eat one. Right. Do you want a Blizzard it, or Pain Split? I will, I'll press Blizzard. It probably kills. Along with the burn. Blizzard makes sense. Okay. Try. Toxic home okay, cause. I'll take it. I'll take it. I don't know what the toxic is doing on that set at all. Right. right. If you okay, I'm so confused. If you're gonna run toxic Excadrill, why wouldn't it be <gasps> Mold Breaker? Wait, he is he's running Hone Claws with Protect and Toxic. I'm so confused. 
What is happening? Oh, <laughs> oh my god. So, so the accuracy boost is really worth instead of sword stance. This guy would rather get the accuracy boost for drill run. Dude, I I have no explanation for what is happening. We have to get the blizzard though, or else we lose. No way is this this hone claws toxic. <laughs> oh, thank God. Thank Got God. him. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> How to beat Excadrill with Rotom? Just just make sure he takes the wrong <laughs> ability. And you'll win that was i mean he he ran home claws over over sword stance dude it's so he doesn't miss toxic <laughs> wow I'm... i mean deal answer like nothing for a core night. drill run you'd think he'd run stone edge or something something like Ooh. that hey Stalling. we've got steelix here though i really like steelix in this mm -hmm. matchup right right Garmontan G? I think not. <laughs> Weakness policy. Burned. Gyro. Burned her Yeah, that might not have KO'd without weakness policy, so I'm glad we kept that. Yeah. It, it's such overkill, though. It's so funny to see. <laughs> I really like it. Okay, so let's do a couple more of these 1v1. And for those of you who don't know the reason we're doing 1v1, I know it's a somewhat of a more obscure tier, but um, Elo Bandit's channel, he's been going over 1v1 for for years and years, and so definitely check that out. It's a really fun tier, honestly. Yeah, come watch my 1v1 videos. I've got strategy, and laddering, and commentary, and all that good stuff. Shellos. Shellos, Shellos. East. I don't know about that one. Um, I guess if you like mirror coat counter is all it can do. It's a male though, so I'm gonna press Steelix. Is that a collab? He knows it. <laughs> Maybe. In, wow. Are we gonna uh, attract this guy? Um, for sure, yeah. <laughs> All right, that's a newbie. If you're watching, you called it, yeah. Bring it rise for fun, for science. Except no, no, I do want him to hit us with the ground type move for weakness policy to pop. Yeah, so I guess just Earthquake spam. Yeah. What are the odds on Attract? Uh, what are the chances he actually breaks through? Uh, 50%. It's really good. Coin flip odds, wow. <laughs> <laughs> my my patented Attract Steelix. <laughs> 32, not bad. Yeah, mobilize. We have sturdy anyway, so counter is safe for us. Yep. Nice double. Oh mobilize. my god. This is so <laughs> brutal. It is. It's so fun. I love it. Well, fun for us. Fun for us. <laughs> yeah, it's probably not fun for the shallows. Uh, Breakthrough is counter. Carrying. A third of mobilize. We are getting pretty lucky with these coin flips. Shout out to Justin Newby for watching. He predicted the club. The Shellos is down. GG. We are undefeated in 1v1. Wait, we haven't even lost one yet? We have not lost a game. This team. Wow. We, team linked in description. <laughs> this is wild. All right. Same guy. Wubbuffet man. Uh. I kind of want to go steal it. I think we can go Dragapult here. Unless, what if he specs and he thinks he could kill the Rotom in one hit? Yeah, again, for those of you who aren't as familiar with 1v1, really quick pace battle, so you're always going to be fighting the same opponents during a session. Yeah, there's only so many people on ladder at any given time. Okay, so do you want to go Rotom Frost again, or would you like to go Steelix here? I don't know if Frost worked last time. He's probably not going to go Wobbuffet. Um, is female. We could throw so, a Blizzard at uh, Dragapult and hope that right. we live with max HP. Okay, he does go Wobbuffet again. Oh, nice. wow, okay. So we'll Wisp again. <laughs> <laughs> he He's like, wait, I haven't answered it. No, you don't. No, you don't. No. 
Yeah, there's the mirror coat. Should we do Thunderbolt for science? No, 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 no. He'll kill us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. Yeah. Shoot. Yeah, we would have. <laughs> Ooh. Now I see. Then our pants play isn't useful. I mean, it's fine. It's just, just kidding. He doesn't really have a yeah. way to get us. Yeah, Wampa Fett in 1v1 does kind of seem it, like it could work, except I doubt it's all that good. There are better counter coat users. Yeah. I was just thinking... I would rather use Chelos than Wampa Fett. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking with just the way 1v1 is, you know, it's 1 versus 1, so you can't switch out. Um, and so that's really what you know, got attracted in my mind. It just seems so good in a right, format where you Right, because it's a status yeah. where you would normally just break it immediately by switching, because that's yeah. why it's considered so bad. Got him. Nine turn 1v1 match. But yeah, no, I really like that thought process. The same thing kind of applies to, um, like, Confuse, right? Like swagger, that kind of thing. Yeah. Except it does... I'm pretty- yeah, confusion does wear off. Okay, same guy again. Welcome back. Mm, yeah, confusion does break off over a bit, but attract doesn't wear off, so you just get a 50% chance to never get hit each turn. Um, um, I just remembered our Porygon Z perfectly counters Zeraora. It eats the uh, close combat with Trap Berry and speed swaps and type. It doesn't hit. It, it can't hit Age Slash, though. That's true. Um, but this guy probably expects us to go Steelix again. I mean, Steelix wins, though. It wins if we get a track. Yeah, let's let's go Steelix. I like that. Well, we can't get a track because there are females. Except Zero Aura is fine. Mm. Earthquake? Yeah, that works. Let's see. Does Zero Aura get Magnet Rise? It does, like but they usually don't yeah. run it. This guy adapted to our team. Okay, yeah, we won viewers, <laughs> but he, he went genderless and he has females on both the other ones. People are already making attract counterplay. Yeah, GG, that's tough. Alright, All right. so how about we get one or two more 1v1 battles? Yeah. Because we have been on a rampage right now. <laughs> we are unstoppable. We've only got one battle with Porygon so far. I mean, Steelix I kind of wish we pulled him the last battle, because he would have beaten the Zero Aura, but that's okay. Yeah, it would. It just, if you want Aegislash, there's nothing we can do, and we don't yeah. want to lose our win streak. I think Steelix, Steelix again. Is, it just wins, yeah. It's so good. Attract Weakness Poly Steelix. Fear it. Crab Man. Okay, this is actually kind of scary, because He's we can't it. Yeah. Gyro Ball isn't very effective. Magnet Rise has no effect. Um, we just smack him with the Earthquake. We just yeah. hope that it's enough. Yeah, we can't. Damn. This is our first loss. Dragapult is bulky enough to take a plus two Earthquake. We are adamant max attack. Yeah, I Scalix. feel like that's probably bulky, Drake of Ish, but... So, Dang, yeah, that... one loss. Just one loss. Yeah. I guess that's where we should end it after, you know, at that one loss because we went on a rampage until then winning every single match right. pretty much showcasing every member pretty well too i'd say yeah absolutely yeah so this was the second part of our collab we'll probably do some more in the future because i do want to show uh more of 1v1 on this channel it is a really cool tier and elo bandit is the guy to uh the channel to visit if you're interested in 1v1 so yeah that's it for this video make sure to check out uh part one on his channel and yeah any last words? Uh, thanks so much for having me. This was a ton of fun to collaborate.